My name is Peter Pike, and I'm a novelist, philosopher, musician, poet, and computer software engineer. I've decided to start a series to give writers some software tools to help evaluate their work, as well as to show people who enjoy programming how it's done. Every writer needs to be able to keep track of the number of words in the story they're writing, so the first thing we'll do is to create a simple VB script that will take a string of text and count the number of words in that string. Pretty simple to do, but you may be wondering, why do we need to do this? Doesn't Word, Pages, and other word processing programs already do that? Of course they do, but we need to start somewhere and this will be our foundation for everything else we want to do. I chose VBScript because it's free. That's right, if you have a Windows computer, you can simply use Notepad to write your code, save it as a .vbs file, and you can run that file immediately. Let me show you what I mean with the typical Hello World script. For this, I'm going to use Notepad++, but that's actually another free program. I'll provide a link for that in the description as well. You could just as well do this using regular Notepad. So we'll start by just declaring wscript.echo. That tells it to print out in a message box what we're going to put in the quotes. We'll just say hello world. Now we just save this and uh, I already have one in there. I'll just overwrite this. There we go. So now we can just double click on hello world and up it pops, hello world. If you want to change that, all you have to do is uh, update what's in the quotation marks here. So we can say hello again, world, save that. Double click here and we get hello again, world. So it's pretty easy, straightforward. Now what we're gonna do, let's just create a new script. And this one, we're gonna go ahead, save this as word count.vbs. The VBS is the important part. That tells Windows that this is a virtual basic script. That's what the VBS stands for. So VBS script right there. Next, we need to be able to count the number of words in that. And for a quick and easy program, we can just have it split on the space character to do that. Finally, we need the program to actually output the results at the end. Otherwise, it's a useless program. So let's begin with our new script here. The very first thing I'm going to put in before doing any of that, though, is this command, option explicit. And what does that do? Well, by default, when you use VB script without declaring option explicit, you don't have to actually declare any of your variables. When the compiler gets to a variable it hasn't seen before, it just creates it on the fly. That sounds pretty good, except that people make typos. Lots and lots of typos. So check this out. Let's just make something up really quick. So first, I'll turn this off by commenting out that line. The little apostrophe makes the line um, become ignored by the compiler. Now let's just uh, say we have a number and we'll have it equal to three. Now suppose that we want to add seven to that number. So we can just say number equals plus seven. As you can see, I have a typo in there, but what would happen if we had this in here and then at the end we said wscript.echo number is equal to, and we put the colon in, and we do number. Now what is gonna happen with this? Well, because the program went through, it would have created a brand new variable at this point and then added this to it. So number starts as three and it's going to add this non-existent variable which will set to zero by default plus seven. So number will just be seven. So let's go ahead and save that. Um, and we'll do word count, what do we get? Number is equal to seven. Now, there were no errors or anything that kicked out. That means that if you were trying to track down where the error was, it'd be very difficult to find in, especially if you have a very long complex code. So let's take option explicit, put it back in, save it. Now what happens when we run this? We get an error. It says variable is undefined, number, and it tells you the line, number three. So we come up here and uh, so now, when you go, oh yeah, I need to put number. So this dim is what declares a variable. So we think, oh, we're done, let's run it now. And no, now it's saying variable is undefined number. So that lets us know exactly where it is and we can go, oh, this is where the correction needs to be. We save that and we run it again and now we get the correct result of 10. Okay, so that's why we want this option explicit. So we're gonna be declaring all our variables so that it will help mitigate against typos. So let's start by declaring a variable. We'll do str text. The str just tells me that it's a string. Visual Basic Script does not need that. It will just um, go with whatever you put in there as long as you're not using a keyword. Um, but I like to tell myself this is a string. That's what we're expecting data to be. So str text equals, uh, this is our example text. All right, 
So this is what we're gonna hard code for now. Later I'll show you how to open a file and get the contents from that file. So with this, the next thing we need to do is to get our word count. Now the good news is that VB scripts give us a command that will split a variable into an array based on the space character. So let's create our array of words and then array words equals the command split str text. So by default, that's going to split it on the space character and give us the results from there. Now you might be wondering, how does this actually split things out? So we can do a quick for each and uh, we're gonna need to create a new variable up here. We'll call this word. So for each word in array of words, we're gonna do a loop. Or actually, this is gonna be a next up here. So. so what are we gonna do? Let's just have it wscript.echo word. Yeah, helps if I can type. See what I mean about typos though. So what we're gonna do here is each time it goes through this, it's gonna echo out what word it just found. So we'll save this and let's just run that. And so the first thing we see is it found the word this and then is our example text. So it's working exactly like we want it to. The only thing we really need at the end now is to give us the count of what was in there. So let's get back over here. So for now, let me uh, comment this out. We could just put a counter variable in here that we increase each time we go through, but VB script does give us a better way of doing it. So let's give ourselves an integer of count. And then down here, we'll say int count equals you bound array words. Now what you bound does is it gives us the upper bound of the array. So the upper bound is gonna be the highest index in the array. There is only one problem with using this command. Um, and I'll show you here. Let's just echo int count, file save, double click this. And it says four, but clearly one, two, three, four, five. So what's happening there? Is that an error? It's actually not. What happens is because arrays are indexed starting with the zero number, that's the root, then it starts counting from zero up. So we need to actually just add one to our result to get the correct answer. So if we save that and run it now, we get five. And let's, um, let's actually clean this up a bit and just say there are, put the space and, let's count and words in str text. So save that, we do this, we get there are five words in str text. So we're getting the correct answer. That's all good. So that's pretty much all there is to it, right? Well, what happens if we do this? We just added one extra space in here. Let's run that. Now there are six words. Hmm. If we come up here and we add two more, now there are eight words. So what's actually going on? Let's uncomment this really quick, put that in. So we'll be having it echo out what's going on. If we run this again, we got this and then nothing, then is, and then nothing, then nothing again, then our example text. That's why it's coming up with eight words, not the five, because each time it splits on the space is creating new entry in our array. So we'll need to actually work out how to get rid of that white space, the extra space characters, in order to deal with this in the future. And that's going to be the subject of our next video. Until then, have a wonderful day.